love you too. I'm back, Hippie G, with another soccer tutorial. And this time, I'm going to be showing you how to hit the crossbar every time. Completely mathematical, no skill required. With us today, we've got professionals Carson De La Mons and Jordan McGum. Flew all the way here from Brazil just to show you how this is done. So let's get right on to it, folks. Here it is. Okay, so right now Carson is shooting the ball and it took approximately 1.5 seconds. Here goes Jordan. Okay, so the crossbar is 8 feet high and we are 60 feet away from the goal itself. So, what we're going to find is the displacement. And by doing so, we are going to use the Pythagorean Theorem. By doing this, we find the displacement to be about 60.5 feet. And now, with this and the time of 1.5 seconds, we can use the velocity formula to do 60.5 divided by 1.5 to get an average speed of approximately 28 miles per hour. Okay, so the last thing we need for a perfect shot is to find the initial angle of the ball. To do so, we first need to find the height that it would have gone without the force of gravity acting upon it. By using a certain formula, we found it to be approximately 56 feet. Whoa, that is a whopper. Thank God for gravity, or else we would have missed that crossbar by a lot. Now, using this, we can find the angle to be approximately 43 degrees. And this right here is all the math we use, but who cares about that? You don't really have time to do that all on the field, so we're just going to pitch that. And so, based on what we have learned, we know that if you are exactly 60 feet away from the goal, and if you can kick it with an exact velocity of 28 miles per hour, and on an angle of 43 degrees, you can hit the crossbar every time. But, besides that, we have calculated that this will help us throughout our lifetime about 0.001% of our life. So, it's a cool party trick, folks, but this is really just about useless. But thanks for watching anyways, and I'll see you all next week. Hippie G out. The reason we chose this scenario was, I mean, both of us are pretty good athletes, and soccer is, you know, soccer is fun. Um, it's a fun way to explain physics and break it down, and we enjoy it. Let's just be creative. Um, difficulties that we experienced as a group um, were that, for one, I am not per se a soccer player, so some of the shots that he was hitting being a soccer player took a little bit more time for me to hit, and then um, also our rendering and special effects took a lot of extra time that we had to put in, and that was kind of difficult and at times. The, the, some of the limiting things that limited us uh, with the video, the, the quality of the camera is not the best. I just found it in my house, so I grabbed it and used it. And uh, it, it can't capture frames in such high quality that we could slow it down and give you guys a better depiction of what's happening. So, that's really about it. Uh